Hi everyone and welcome back, it's Vicky here with another card making video. Today I'm going to play with this uh, stamp set from the latest release by My Favorite Things. This is called This Hug is for You. And I'm going for an adorable winter card for my Let's Play with Critters series. I picked one of the bears and there are many options here for you to choose, as well as a few of the trees. I didn't end up using those trees, however, you will see what I will do for my little scene. I'm working on Nina Solar White cardstock and I'm stamping with extreme black ink just because it is alcohol marker friendly. As I usually do, I grabbed my alcohol markers and these are the um, tree blends with the three shades in one barrel. I'm going for a very soft look and feel for this image and my color scheme for the whole card is very light browns as well as white and a touch of blue. The marker I'm using here is called Fair Skin Blend and I'm just adding a few shadows here and there to help that um, scarf and the hat pop. For the bear I went mainly white, I just added a touch of cool grey on the edges to make it look more uh, rounded. There are matching dies available for this stamp set, I'm going to use the die that cuts out the um, little bear and also I'm going to cut out trees, but instead of using the trees that I stamped, I'm only going to cut out the paper without the stamped image. For my background I'm going with craft cardstock and I did use the cover-up die which is called Snow Swirls. Lovely detail on top of that, it keeps everything quite subtle but at the same time it adds some interest back there. I'm using white dye ink and uh, my soft blending tool and I'm going all around the edges. The white is uh, going to blend in with the craft color cardstock and it's not going to show as much as it does at the moment. Remember this um, ink takes a little while to dry but it blends nicely into the cardstock. I'm going to place this panel on top of my card base which is 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half and I did use foam tape underneath and then I used my snow drift die as well as a circle one to cut out a blue circle as well as a couple of snow bags that I'm going to stick on top of that little circle. This is where I'm going to build my little winter scene. For the first snow piece I did go completely flat with glue, now I'm using some foam tape at the back to add some dimension and I'm going to place my little bear on top. And I'm going to embellish that with those cutout trees, they are going to look as if they are far at the background, adding extra depth on my scene. I find that cards with little critters are always adorable and they put a smile on every recipient for sure, so I decided to turn this in a kind of a series while showcasing some of my favorite stamp sets. For my sentiment I'm going to die cut this banner sentiment tie, this comes from an older set with a tag, but anything works here for uh, your sentiment, if you don't have one of those dies you can always just cut out your sentiment after stamping it. And I'm also going to die cut one of my snowflakes, and I have this collection of snowflakes that I have um, put together through the years, so I'm just going to use one of them. I will share one card per one of those videos, let me know in the comments below, do you prefer having one card where I take my time like today to show you the whole process or do you like to pack too many cards in one video? So here I'm going to stamp one of the sentiments but I want that to be on a curve, that's why I'm using the cover of my stamp so that I can kind of stick on a curve that sentiment before I pick it up with my misty door. For my sentiment, instead of going with uh, black, I decided to go with a blue that uh, pretty much matches the color of my background. And finally, it's time to put the whole card together. If you are enjoying those videos, don't forget to like as well as hit the notification bell to make sure that you get a notification whenever I post a new video. I'm embellishing my card with a snowflake that I cut out and uh, you can go ahead and add even more snowflakes for this design. I'm going to stay just with one, I will add a little gem at the center of my snowflake and I will also scatter a few more gems around the card. Those gems come from a set by my Pinkfresh Studio which I keep on using again and again and they never end. 
Finally, I need to add some snow on the background. For that, I'm going with my favorite technique lately, which is adding white glossy Nouveau drops. Some of the snowflakes are bigger, others are smaller, and I'm also going to add a few snowflakes around the outside of the circle. So here are some close-up photos on the little card that I made for today. Down below you will find links to everything I used. Don't forget to comment and like the video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.